Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm wearing pink today. I feel like I'm a girl girly today. I know for I like it's this is not my favorite color but I feel like um because I'm going to talk about my breast augmentation journey. I feel like I want to be I look like a girly girly, you know, type of person today. <laughs> that is the reason why. So guys let's i will start the story about when did i first think about getting a boob job is long time ago it, when i don't have a money yet to do this <laughs> it's like because my insecurity is my boobs i had a flat chest before it's like only a skin and, and, and you go there that's it <laughs> literally that's it now it's look at that right it's perfect and um because i couldn't wear i couldn't wear clothes that i like like this oh my god i cannot wear this before in the spaghetti strap i need to have to wear um a bra with push up you know with uh, big paddings and I hate wearing that because it's sweating you know it's sweating I don't like wearing bra even even before I had my flat chest sometimes I hate I hate I throw my bra because I hate it because I'm sweating only and I'm a very active person I like to do sports or something like that and and I just want to wear like you know um, sports bra or something and after i have this i remove all the paddings of my supports of bra the bra that's stretchable that i can still use i remove all the paddings guys so it started because of you know i really want to have this and we only need one so why not do what you know what makes us happy what to the highest level you know even though it means to cut yourself and to make you look good why not if it makes you you know feel beautiful now i felt confident more than ever since i had this boobs done since i have this too cocomelon i call it cocomelon i never never wear bra anymore only I only wear the best like um, sports sports bra especially when I'm running and doing my sports has to be tight so it supports you know it stays in place because I'm scared I'm still a little bit scared even though it looks normal soft and I'm still scared about uh, you know making it damage <laughs> I don't want to damage anything so even though I'm doing a uh, kickboxing and sports running I wearing um support like sports bra the proper one only and i wanna say or talk about where did i get where did i get this done guys i only did this in bello medical group which i'm proud about it because i really save up money to have this to have the best you know i need to have the best boobs that I can have that will I that the place where I can feel be safe and you know mm, no bad reviews you know about them that they didn't make mistakes so I can say that only Bello touches my skin <laughs> but Bello didn't even touch me we only have a selfie together when I saw her in her uh, clinic and that day when I'm going out, when uh, I'm going home to my province, because I stayed in Manila for, I stayed in Manila for more than three weeks because they did not allow me to fly back to my province unless my wound is healed, fully healed, because they want to make sure that it's safe, I'm safe, and they don't want me to have uh, a call or trouble when I'm back to my province. So I stayed there for a long time. So my the doctor my doctor's name is Dr. Caparas. I'm very proud about it because he's 
one of the best. If you Google his name, he is one of the best surgeon, long time surgeon working surgery about boobs in Philippines. Not only about boobs, rhinoplasty and everything. Um, he's one of the best. So, and look at that, you know. He, if you see a lot a uh, perfect boobs in Philippines, maybe he's the one who did it. <laughs> maybe he's the person who touched it. Um, I'm proud to have to have this um, breast augmentation done in Bello Medical Group because if you know if if you just enter their clinic, you feel safe already. You can trust your life. <laughs> your life to them you really say maybe because it's a major operation they will put you to sleep with a general anesthesia you don't feel anything you will not feel anything at all like that's what i want i don't want to feel pain i don't want pain so i just want to sleep and wake up beautiful Ta -da! <laughs> But uh, when I went there for a consultation, I turned up to be like a high blood because I feel nervous. Actually, maybe I'm in denial I'm a high blood, I don't know. So they had me general checked up my blood and everything. So they uh, they gave me like for one week um, to make my high blood pressure goes down to maintain the level and make me relax for one week. So I stayed there for one week and going to Bello, doing facial and everything before I start my um, surgery. That's what happened. <laughs> so, uh, really, Bello touches my skin. <laughs> Even though I had selfie, her, the people in Bello is the one touching my skin. But I had a chance to see her and I was so starstruck. And, oh my god, she's so like a, a happy person she has a different vibe around around if she's in that area because I was going to the clinic a couple of times and she wasn't there and when she was there the, the clinic feels different it was oh my god I feel so starstruck because I saw her in person and she's so humble and when I ask for a, a selfie dog can I have selfie with you oh my god blah blah they said why not of course and she's so friendly and sweet Hello, <laughs> she's different, you know. That's why she's so successful in her career. So, guys, th that's what happened. Okay. Next is I want to talk about what size of boobs I is this left and uh, right and left is different. The right one I think is the ones the 350 cc. I forgot the card in Philippines now. I'm in Hong Kong, so. 350cc is the right and the left is 320 the reason is my original boobs is different size oh wait, uh, mostly most of the women the doctor said most of the women don't have uh, the, the same size of the boobs so to make it perfect he put it in different size so I told him to I, I trust you but whatever you think will look good on me do it because <laughs> I because at first he he asked me what size I want I said I want to make it big uh, of course I want to make it bigger or not so biggest the the one that will look will fit on my body because my I'm short I'm 4'11 and I'm not fat so it's it has to be like perfect size only so this is 350 cc and this is 320 something um, I forget exactly how much I paid in Pelo because I paid it cash. <laughs> I was so nervous the day before my surgery or, or in the morning before my surgery, I paid cash. And if you pay cash in Bello, they will give you a discount. So I'm telling you, if you want to go there, I want to make your nose or anything you want to fix, pay cash. Not credit because they have like installment something you can save more so but in the end of, of of how much i really um spend because i count overall uh, how much i spend is i think because i stayed for 
more than three weeks in a hotel in near BGC and the food and my friends I need to fly her to stay with me also and our food together and transportation I just have to all the time make a take a taxi and everything like that so overall it was like more than 300,000 pesos if I count it all because I stayed there and I was high blood I had to make my <laughs> facial and everything in there and I put the products here and here a little bit <laughs> so that's how much I spent there but else um, how I feel during or after the surgery before of course uh, before my surgery I felt so what do you call it uh, nervous I couldn't I didn't even sleep I need to take a sleeping pill so I can I can sleep before my uh, my surgery and because I feel so nervous but excited at the same time because I'm looking forward of, 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 of how I'm going to look after the surgery I'm just very positive so I just want to tell you that if you're going to have a breast surgery or breast augmentation, you don't look in YouTube for negative effect or whatsoever. Never, never do that. So your mind is only positive and thinking about uh, positive recovery only and never to the negative side because this is, you know, it's all about being beautiful and being positive you know so that's my um, advice from me like even though even though because even though you're not watching you feel like oh my god this uh, they like uh, they put me to sleep for two hours and gonna have what not going to happen to me you know? especially when you see the green thing with the scissors and the side already in your bed <laughs> But no, because I already pay, so continue. <laughs> Let's continue. Yeah, so they put me to sleep for two hours. Two hours. Oh, more than two hours. My friend was already worried to me because the nurses told her that uh, they're going to call her to go up to my recovery room to take me home. But they did not wake me up for I think more than two hours two hours I was still sleeping so they they called her only when I was awake so she was nervous already calling my friends in my province I think she went tired <laughs> or something like that so oh my god the lighting from the window is getting darker <laughs> but I'm using cinematic so it's okay so that's what happened my friend become nervous but glad I'm still open. when I wake up boom my eyes like this and my chest only feels so heavy like full of pressure because I don't have a lot of skin right and it's so tight it's so tight that I, I don't want to just feeling it's so heavy oh my god I have already two something <laughs> two babies here so that's what happened I was so excited but I don't want to move too much because you know they push me to the recovery room. I'm still a little bit awake already, and they make my rest. And I go home straight away. Like after four hours staying in the clinic, I go home straight away to the hotel and just drink uh, my medicine. After I eat a little bit of food, take a medicine and rest and relax. And that's it, guys. I had to take seven days of antibiotics and because i have the the doctor make it sure that um there will be no infection in the future or something like that yeah but i still have a tube to remove uh, my friend always remove the blood excess blood from under the cut of my boobs to make sure that the blood is clear before they remove it so they remove it after seven days and then um, after two weeks, uh, they removed the stitch of my boobs, and that's it. And must 
teach me how to massage because it, it's a different way of massaging your boobs. It's not like <laughs> there is a proper way to do it. There's only one here, one here, and one here. So it's like the the doctor the doctor will tell you properly how to do it. So that's what happened, and then. I booked my flight home to my province, stayed there for two months, and then back to Hong Kong after my vacation. So now it's like I did it March 27. I couldn't forget that March is like March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So it's been like eight months, more than eight months. And even though it's just after six months, I'm all doing already like kickboxing and jogging. Um, hardcore exercise, you know, like sometimes I do push up, jump squats, or anything. Because the doctor did the operation, Dr. Ka Do Dr. Ka <laughs> Dr. Caparas. <laughs> Make a love shout out. Thank you very much for making me beautiful. Um, did the surgery under my muscle. So, under the muscle is the best because uh, it's going to be strong. In the future, it's not going to be saggy because the muscles will hold it in place even though you don't wear bra or in the future of 10, 20 years from now. Only your skin will go down but your boobs is still straight. <laughs> so, so, guys, if you have, uh, uh, if you want to do it in Philippines, do it with Dr. Caparas. I love you, Doc. Thank you very much. So, this is not a paid advertisement for <laughs> from Dr. Kapara. <laughs> this is because he's the best. So, uh, well, before, actually, before COVID, I was thinking going to Thailand and get my boot job done. But I'm glad I didn't because I don't know anybody. It wasn't easy. So, I don't know anybody who will take care of me in Thailand. I have to fly my friend to go there and take care of me. It's going to be more expensive, you know. So I don't know anybody at least in Philippines if you're a Filipina do it in Philippines because uh, you know the people there you can talk to and uh, you know the people around so much better to do it there guys so that's all what I can say um, what else no regrets <laughs> never never no regrets I wish I could have done this earlier before but even though I already have money saved of it I'm still thinking twice I'm scared I'm scared of you know being cut but because at the time I have that more time for myself so that's why I did it and so I wish i had done this long time ago but I'm still glad I did I did it. Because now I like going to the beach uh, with my cleavage because before my uh, my top only for my bathing suit is going up here. And there's nothing in there. So it's <laughs> now oh mm. uh, uh, you're jealous. <laughs> Everybody's looking at my boobs, not to my eyes anymore, guys. So that's all I can see. That means this is perfect. So that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my OnlyFans. I will put my description down below. Here, just watch. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you for watching.